I'm attempting to eat the world's biggest Ben & Jerry's food challenge in under 60 minutes. Over 17,000 calories of Ben & Jerry's deliciousness. If I failed to eat everything within the time limit, I had to do the unthinkable. A one mile run immediately following the challenge. The first order of business was choosing my flavors. Everybody, I have a lot of Ben and Jerry's on my table and also one pint on my floor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta get myself presentable, right? One second. You all know I had to do it, all right? Eric the Electric merch, link in bio. Everyone, it's been quite some time since I've done an ice cream challenge and I'm very much looking forward to this one. But before I get into this week's food challenge, I've got something very special to tell you all. This video is being brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke is a monthly membership club that delivers awesome boxes with tons of top shelf goods from under the radar brands that's completely free to join. Every month, Bespoke's members are introduced to cool new products including outdoor gear, home and kitchen goods, barware, and more based on an individual preference quiz that's filled out when you sign up. Every month, each member gets sent a personalized box that's worth around $70 in retail value but only costs $49. You can preview your box before it's shipped and decide if you want to keep it. You can swap it for a different box or you can skip the month entirely for no charge so you only pay for what you want. My last few bespoke boxes have been awesome and super useful for my lifestyle. The Weekender bag has been super handy for short day trips around town. I've been using the two knives that came with the chop box like crazy for my nightly kitchen needs. Oh, and I can't forget the feast box. It came with an absolutely beautiful carving knife and fork that are perfect for slicing up big pieces of chicken and turkey. Here's the deal, everyone. Bespoke Post is gonna give you 20% off your first box today. All you gotta do is visit the link down below in the description and enter code electric20 at at checkout or just go to bespokepost.com slash electric 20. Now that that's out of the way everyone, I'm gonna be giving myself a 60 minute time limit. If I can't take all this Ben and Jerry's down in under 60 minutes, I'm going to have to run a mile after this food challenge. I rode my bike 65 miles today, but I didn't have time for a run. So I figured, you know what? Why not just spice this challenge up and if I can't take all this down, I'll just get my run workout in after the food challenge. Probably gonna be a terrible decision, but hopefully I won't have to. Without further ado everyone, Let's do this. So I got five pints on the table right now and then I have five pints in the freezer for obvious reasons. First pint, milk and cookies. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. Mm. So, first point is down. You can't go wrong with milk and cookies, all right? We're about two and a half minutes into the challenge. Now it's time for the half baked. All right. All right, half baked is down. Next, we're gonna do strawberry cheesecake. I'm gonna do chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough time. I learned this cool trick where you can touch the tongue to your top of your mouth and it takes the brain freeze away. Right, third pint is down. We are about eight minutes into the challenge. They're making really good time so far, everybody. I think I'm gonna get into my actual favorite pint of Ben and Jerry's. This is the cannoli flavor. Oh, it is absolutely legendary. Mmm. All right, fourth pint is down. We are about 11 minutes in. All right, next is the Ben & Jerry's flavor. Next is the strawberry cheesecake flavor. This flavor's good too. All right, well the fifth pint is down. We are currently just crossed the 15 minute mark. So before I get the next five pints, I'm gonna head on over to our cookie dough chunks right here. If you've never seen these before, well, it's because they're relatively new. Some of these flavors I've had before, some of them I have not had before, so I'm very much looking forward to trying these out. These right here are the sugar cookie chunks. And that is what we got right there. I'll pick that up later. Those are tasty. All right, now it's time for the chocolate chip cookie dough. Thank you. 
Should I say it? I feel like I should say what it looks like, but I won't. It certainly tastes way better than it looks. Well, it looks like we are uh, 22 minutes into the challenge. So far, it's going as good as it can go. I'm actually going to uh, get to the last flavor that I have had before, which is the Tonight Dough Chunks. bag of cookie dough chunks down. Now I think it's time to get to the rest of the ice cream. All right, everybody. So I have the next round of ice cream. And uh, I just gotta say right now, I had to swap out two pints because two pints were still melted from me taking the thumbnail for this video. I don't know what it is, but it's like every time I consume ice cream that is melted in any food challenge, I met with a plethora of comments from people telling me that I'm a crazy person for eating melted ice cream. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do. This next pint right here is iconic. This is the chocolate fudge brownie. Ooh, it looks fudging delicious. Mm. Fudge brownies now. Next, I gotta try something that I saw on social media and uh, I've been wondering about it ever since I saw it. Step one is to take two cookies just like so. I chose M&M cookies because you know what? We all know M&M cookies are absolutely sensational. Step two is to cut a pint of ice cream like this. So that's just not what I want. Step three is to place that just like that. Step four, we do that. Actually step five is figuring out how I'm gonna get this off. And there you have it, family. You have yourselves an M&M cookie sandwich. Ben and Jerry's cookie sandwich. That is gonna get a W. Oh. Man, that was amazing. Where are my Cherry Garcia people at? Comment below. And if Cherry Garcia isn't your favorite pint of Ben and Jerry's, why don't you comment down below with what your favorite pint of Ben and Jerry's actually is? Let me know down below in the comments. Right, well, the uh, seventh pint of Ben and Jerry's is down. Looks like we have 22 minutes left. Next pint I'm gonna get into over here is the uh, Ben and Jerry's fish food. That's what we got right there. This is my big spoon. All right, what do you want? The uh, eighth pint of Ben and Jerry's is down. 18 minutes remaining. I feel like it's sugar bomb is just gone off in my mouth right now. For that, I always come prepared to the party whenever this happens. A bit of flavor. Flavor fatigue is just a real thing, everybody. For those of you who haven't had this flavor, or any of the core flavors, they call these flavors core flavors because they stuff little surprises in the middle of the pint. And in this pint, giant chocolate chip cookie. That pint's been completed. Oh my goodness. Maybe I overdid it a little bit on the ice cream sandwich. Now we've reached the 10th pint. It's my second favorite pint, is the peanut butter cup. I love peanut butter cups so much. I mean, just check it out, everybody. Peanut butter cups, deliciousness. Everybody, well, we've reached the 10 minute mark. I'm telling you all right now, this is going to be an absolute battle because those three bags of cookie dough are going to be really hard to get down. One more mark. Now it's time for the peanut butter cookie dough. Remaining. Oh my goodness. Two bags of cookie dough. Oh, I think I forgot to show you all the inside of this pint, but yes, it is been completed. Thought of running right now, just. Alright, so I don't know what's very special about this cookie dough, but. Oh, man. Alright, everybody, well. 
what we have. Two minutes left. Oh, man. Get out of my sight. Oh, well. oh there's a lot of taste of sugar. Oh, 40 seconds left. All right, everybody. Well, fortunately, time has run out. Oh, goodness, everybody. I'm literally this close to completing the challenge successfully. Unfortunately, I am past the 60 minute time limit, which means I've failed the challenge, which also means that I have to run one full mile after I get up from this table. You all know me. Sometimes you just gotta go out with a bang. Let's finish this challenge. And then it's time for the sweetest smile of my life. Everybody, the challenge has been completed. If it's not another 60 minutes, now everyone, it's time to go for a little jog. Time to go for a jog. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, I really hope I don't. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I've made it past a quarter mile. Never doing this again. That sucks so much. I made it. One mile. <sighs> if you enjoy this insane ice cream challenge, I'm gonna go and put my last ice cream challenge right up there if you all to enjoy as well, along with another food challenge playlist that I have on my channel. Subscribe to the channel for more insane food challenges, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.